And with Martin Desjardins, the Ottawa Junior, Sever uh, Junior Senators, the 2018 Bogarts and uh, Fred Page Cup champions. And I guess three was the charm, Martin, as far as the Carlton Place Canadians go uh, to win the league championship. I believe you took them out in five. Um, that, and then maybe like the, the Fred Page Cup. A lot of success there. Yeah, it was a fun year. Uh... 17-18, um, you know, obviously there was some pressure on us hosting the Fred Page Cup. We, we kind of wanted to, to do well, uh, to represent uh, the league the right way and, uh, you know, enter by the front door. Um, you know what, playing CP in the finals, we weren't too sure what to expect. We knew it would be a very tough, tough task, but uh, to win in five and then to go 4-0 in the Fred Page Cup to, to earn a berth to the Nationals, I think it's... It's more than what we expected, so obviously it was a, you know, a very good season for us and, you know, happy to, to win a championship. And I know Jason uh, Clark had mentioned about the final series and goaltending. We all know how important of an aspect that is. You're not going to go anywhere without goaltending, but Jason was saying Connor Hicks uh, was a big, big difference in that Bogart championship. Yeah, he was good, and it's funny because he was just average against Pembroke. He was very average against Brockville, and it kind of, uh, I don't know, it's like he was waiting for CP, and, uh, you know, I think he stole the first game for us, and then it gave our guys confidence, and from there, I thought we, you know, the second half of the series, I thought we dominated. Um, but again, you need any team in this league, if they want to go far, they need good goaltending, and that's what Connor Hicks was able to provide us with. So you had that success, but of course the success has a little cost and sacrifice as well. Did you have any summer or no summer? Very short one. Um, obviously when you play until almost the end of May, um, you kind of wish that the, you know, the next season would start only in September or October. So mid-August was, was very early. Uh, you know what, we, we did lose 14 players, so obviously we had to, a lot of work to do. Um, slow start for us this season uh, with all the new acquisitions but recently we've been playing good hockey you know after a, a month of practice I can see a difference right now with, with most of our newcomers so um, it takes time to adjust to the league uh, the pace the speed and obviously the guys are bigger they're older but uh, I think we're, we're slowly coming into our own and I think we're gonna have a pretty good team yeah, I mean, uh, I guess you were uh, finished September just a little bit below 500. Things might have started happening, but then in the month of October and this month there, things are really started. In fact, you've, you've, you've won seven in a row. Eight or nine returning guys, you mentioned that. Uh, they're kind of leading the way here in productivity. Yeah, and it starts with your leaders. And uh, we weren't getting a lot of secondary scoring <clears throat> early on in the season. Uh, we had Walsh, Boulris, and Atto kind of producing, and then there was a – a drop, but then some newcomers stepped in. Some guys like uh, Connor Smart, that was you know a vet from last season, um, kind of found his mark around the seven or eight game, and now he's playing great hockey for us. So obviously, um, you know you, you need your vets to to play the right way at the and to, to lead the way, and but at the same time you need that secondary scoring from the new guys, and I think that's why we've been successful lately. We're kind of getting both, so. Um, you know what, things are going well, and hopefully we can keep it up tonight. We talked about goaltending. Of course, it was Hicks last year. Uh, Boisvert is seemingly coming into his own right now. Yeah, he's one of the league's top goaltenders. Even last year, I think, uh, you know, we had Connor Hicks's rights in the CCHL, so when he came down from the OHL, we obviously we were going to use him, but we were comfortable with Boisvert as, as the number one guy. Uh, but I think it was good experience for him to uh, – you know, to be the backup last year and see how everything kind of went and, you know, uh, playoff run, uh, Fred Page Cup, RBC Cup, and uh, especially in October, and again, him and, and Soulier and Petitian also in Oxbury, that those three goaltenders have, you know, uh, have really uh, led the way uh, across the league. So um, I think if you, you ask, you know, uh, Jesse and Brockville, uh, we don't expect uh, – a high-scoring affair tonight. I think both teams are are very good now. Uh, defensively, I think we're we're both very structured. So, with both goaltending on uh, the goaltending on both sides, I really expect a two-one or three-two hockey game.
Yeah, we expect this to be a, a really good uh, hockey game this evening. There's no doubt about it. I mean, quite a matchup. They've won 13 in a row. You're hot. You've won uh, seven in a row. Uh, the Braves did beat you earlier 3-1 in the showcase, but, I mean, that's the showcase. That's all behind us now. What do the junior senators really need to do well to come out with the two points tonight? Well, that structure, like I just mentioned, uh, they do not give up a lot of goals, so obviously we can't. We have a tendency sometimes to make mental mistakes in the neutral zone, whether it's a bad pinch or, or whatever. Uh, so there's still a lot of stuff that we need to, to, to clean out in our game. Uh, but I think if we keep it simple, obviously you want to spend time in the O-zone. Really difficult to get scored against if you always have the puck. So puck possession is key. Uh, and like I said, goaltending will, will be the difference tonight. I think both guys are going to go hard at each other. They both know that they're... You know, in the elites in, in the league, uh, two guys that I think we're going to see at the Eastern Canada Cup in Trenton in, in three, four weeks. So, uh, no, I love the matchup. I think both teams are, are very similar, the way they're built. Uh, should be entertaining. Thanks for doing this. As always, good luck tonight. All right, thanks. Martin Dejeuner of the Ottawa Junior Senators.